Welcome back to Time Travel. This is Scott Barnes TV and I'm your host, Scott Barnes. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Come with me back down the rabbit hole to 2014. We were moving at hyper speed. EDM took off. It was the birth of the social media craze. Influencers ruled and we also went green. So come with me, you're not gonna wanna miss 2014. Hey guys, it's me. You guys are literally so gorgeous. I'm just waiting for my Botox to kick in. The doctor told me I should wait. Should we do um, a tutorial? Yeah. I think we should too. Can you contour me? I'm going to contour you. Let's go. All right, you guys. You guys officially made it to 2012. <laughs> yeah. So we do have personalities. We do. We're not just dried wood. Although, dried wood is fun. Let's talk about 2000, 12, 14. I had written my first book yes. had come out <laughs> and then I was working on my second book. Okay. And I moved to LA. It was like a big time for me. I was living in New York for 26 years, traveling back and forth to LA. Now I'm officially living in LA full time. Welcome. I meet my husband and I'm working on my second book. And it was great because he had been working on the Kardashian show, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. He was working with Kim. I had worked with Kim. We were kind of friendly. I put her in the end of my first book okay. with Jennifer Lopez on the cover. About face. Yep. And then I put Kim at the end. Beautiful. And I did her like with the smoky eye because she was kind of running around with this real smoky eye at that point. Mm -hmm. I remember that eye. It's pretty. Super beautiful. I started talking about beauty and mm -hmm. how symmetrical Kim was. And she really mm -hmm. liked the way I was doing her makeup because, you know, she loved Jennifer. Jennifer was like her yeah. idol. She was like obsessed with JMO. And what you guys call underpainting, I was doing contour under the foundation. It was me. I was doing that. A lot of people were doing it on top and contouring is nothing new, but I kind of did this whole like under the foundation thing. Right. Because I wanted to- Underpaint, yeah. right? Isn't that what you well, call it? Well, that's what they call it. I don't call it that. I call it contour. Kim was on the cover of my second book, Face to Face. She sat for that cover for me. It was great. What was interesting is, I did a shoot with her for her clothing line. And she was like, hey, do you mind if we do an Instagram? She was kind of popular right. on Instagram and yeah. it was new. I was like, yeah, sure. So we did all these and I'll show you guys, here they are. It went viral. I remember that photo. It was like, all of a sudden everybody was like, oh, contouring's a that. thing. How do you do that? think anyone really knew about it. I'm saying in like the mainstream, like Instagram world, like regular, right. this wasn't something that was really on the map no. until that photo. And it was funny because Kim's like, out. you know, she's sticking her tongue out and she's like, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I have her face all diced up. It was one of those interesting things where it was like, for me, I've been doing it for years. So, and it was what I had always done on Jennifer. Sure. And so but I didn't think people would kind of respond to it. Right. So it was interesting. Thanks, Kim. We you love know. it. It's iconic. It's changed makeup. Forever. It is. Yeah. A lot of people have laid credit to it. Instagram has definitely taken it and done a lot done with something. it. Yeah. I was doing it underneath the foundation. For years. Yeah. It, just because I hated seeing it. And, but I still wanted the camera to pick it right. up. So that was really the idea behind it. It wasn't any weird thing. It was just like, yeah. how do you make this structural? And how do we get this to, you know, be structured right. and strong and not see it? But still beautiful and smooth. It Listen, I love energy. drag, but you don't want to see <laughs> women looking like they're doing drag. Right. So it's actually a form of drag. Technique's been going on for a long time, but it was always done on top. Again, always on top, we go underneath. I'm gonna do a little bit of that today. So you okay, guys can I'm excited. Excited. Yeah. I did a little bit of like evening out of your skin, but I didn't do any contouring yet. So we are going to start there. So I really have been working for the last couple of years to yes. perfect my mm. contouring sticks because there's a certain way I like to use contour and I don't like it to slide all around the face right. because then you wind up with just mud. And as you guys have all seen on Instagram, there's people, they do all these it marks super and, they, dirty. <laughs> and then they smash it all together and you've got yeah. mud. Contour sticks, gotta get them. If you don't have them, get them. We have 10 shades, they're amazing. You're gonna love them. So I really have been working for a while to create these contour sticks. Yes. Contour is very important important to me. So I wanted to make sure that I really was creating something that worked. Absolutely. You know, a lot of times you see people, they use contour and they're making all these marks and they're doing it. And then when you kind of blend it out, it turns into just one color. It looks dirty, kind of. <laughs> well, it defeats the purpose of what right. you're doing. You're you trying to create- shade, light, yeah. depth, dimension. That's yeah. the whole point of contour. It is. You want to create shadows where maybe somebody's face is a little round. You want to create one chin instead of two. You want to bring a cheekbone up. You want to narrow down a nose. That's what contouring's really 
designed to do. How you do it really depends on the products you use. So I've been really developing these. I put foundation on you, so I'm gonna use a deeper shade. I got a light color and one of the deeper shades. The reason I don't have names for them yet, because I've been toying with, do we name them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or do we give them names and how do they smell? It's just like all that like little stuff I'm working on. They're like on. children. You yeah. have to name them. <laughs> They're weird if you don't. You're like, what the heck? What? So I'm gonna contour a little bit. Let me put this down because they're making a little, little jingle jingling. Going. Yes, because I'm hitting them together. I like to use them with a brush. You can also use them just straight up out of the container like this, which is great. Nose, so on and so forth. And they have a nice angle so you can get a really sharp edge if need be. Or you can use it flat. Let me show you where it looks wide, okay? So that being said, we're gonna just kind of go up. And the way to really contour properly, since we're gonna go there, is to feel up underneath your cheekbone. You can feel like the density of the bone and then it drops down and you can feel the top of your teeth. That's where you need to be in with the contour. It's not a stripe, it's a curve. You've got a curve to follow the contour of the cheekbone. It's such a crazy thing. Of the face. Thing. <laughs> contour of the face, right? So we don't want a straight line. We want a curve, curve, bring it in. And then I try to just soften this up before we even get foundation near it. So we could really cut in a bone, you know what I mean? Yeah. And same thing with the jawline. I'm fighting a hoop over here. Hoops. Hoops. The hoops are back. The hoops. It's the 2010. Yeah. Everybody had a hoop. Everyone had a hoop. I had a lot of hoops. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I was a hoop girl. So there's your jaw. Now look straight ahead so people can see. First of all, it's all lifted, right? Right. So you can go into here too. So people were always like trying to minimize a forehead. You can go in here and then up from the brow bone. This is where sun actually hits your face. That's the reason for putting it in there. So you got a curve and a contour of the forehead. I always like to just kind of give it right to the edge there. The little things that you do underneath. Make a huge difference. They make a huge difference on top. When you put stuff over top of it, you're not just like, eh, here's a line. It's like, it's not about lines. Right. It's about curves. For sure. It's about contours of the face. You know, I have a painting background. Right. So I worked with dark and light, and this is where I was taught professionally how to paint. That's what I translated that into makeup, and how do you get colors to do what you want them to do? How do you sure. paint with light? You know what I mean? I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, so I it was a little sense. bit different than other people, you know, in the sense that I was doing this where people were contouring on top. And I go right in underneath the jawline. I feel like, too, the way that you contour with a bit of a curve actually makes women and men to look more youthful. They it, have a, a more round look than just such a stark, like sharp angle. Right. And you have a really good face that really kind of accentuates that because without it, your face is a little bit more rounded and, yeah. it's, and it falls a little bit flat right mm -hmm. there, but it's not a bad thing. It's just, just a flat a, face. No, okay. <laughs> you're just a, just a big old flat face. Just a big old flat face. And then I lift it up a little bit right here. You can decide how much you want to go, how deep you want to go. There's a train going by. And then I always tell people smile a little bit for me. See? So let me teach you guys something really interesting with this. Wow, the train is coming through. There she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain. This little part of your chin is lower than this side of your yeah, chin. Yeah, I know. So I hit it with a little bit. See, contour is also for correcting. Right. So you can make symmetry happen by correcting things. Yeah, if your face is uneven. Uneven face. <gasps> uneven face, mm -hmm. like me. So that was with Kim Kardashian. I had written a book, and it was all over inside the book. Sure. Prior to that, and it was like because of her Instagram that everybody was like, oh my god, contouring, yeah. it's real. It's a thing. It's a real thing. Yeah. Thank you, Kim. Thanks. Kim. Well, I feel like that goes to kind of show the power of the what power was going of on. Social media. Yeah. yeah. And Kim was very, very powerful at that time. She was. Absolutely. And still is. I mean, you know, yeah. she's brilliant. I always used Wonderful to. Wonderful businesswoman. You know, she would be on her phone and we'd be on set. And I'm like, mm -hmm. she's in her office right now. You know, she really understood how to use that phone. Yeah, she did. Now I contour the lip a little bit. And let me hit the top of it. Bambi. Fuzzy Winkle. Fuzzy Winkle and a train. It's just a noisy <laughs> day here at Scott Barnes Studios. <laughs> the show must go on. 
She's spicy today. Yeah, she's gonna be cut up. She's gonna be sliced and diced. Chin down just a little bit for me. So let's contour a nose. I have a couple rules. I don't really have a lot of rules, but these are one of my rules. Okay. When you're contouring a nose, what do you want it to look like? Your nose is already very straight and it's very thin. So we don't want to contour it too much because then you'll look creepy really and crazy. weird. Yeah, yeah. Too small. It could get witchy. Yeah. So contour is not one size fits all, everybody. Understand that. You have to be discerning about where you're putting it. But we can shorten your nose by adding dark to the tip. A lot of African-American girls and Asian girls don't have a real strong bridge on their nose. If your glasses move up and down when you smile, your sunglasses, mm -hmm. you probably don't have a real big bridge on your nose. If that's the case, if you don't have a bridge, you wanna create one and bring it around because you want to lengthen it a little bit like okay. that. You, that's not a good idea and I'll yeah. tell you why. Because <laughs> there's already enough space here. You don't sure. want to create a too longer much. thing, okay? It can get a little horsey. It gets too long. Yeah, it's And then all of a sudden long. everything gets long and you're mm -hmm. like, okay, that was not the goal. I don't want to be long face. Like, why the long face? This is beautiful. I really brought this in. Warm neutral tones mm -hmm. was like the trend for makeup, glitter and shimmer and accent. Body bling. Yeah. I mean, hello, go. shimmery no bodies. More. Bold and dark lipstick, that was never my thing. Bushy fashion yeah. brows. Cara D'Evangeli was like great with the brows. Okay, Anastasia. Anastasia, great. Korean skincare, amazing. Big Me trend. Yeah, metallic eyeshadow was big. Bronze glow, monochromatic makeup. Me, monochromatic. Right here, you're looking right at here. it. Monochromatic. Served it. Served it up all day long. So contouring went mainstream 2014. Yeah. We had bold brows again, big lips, overline lips. Hence. Lip fillers went through the roof along with Botox. Yes. You know what was really crazy? Another like crazy beauty trend kind of came out in 2015 okay. was Kim's little sister, Kylie. Yes. Remember that lip thing that everybody was like. Overlined. No, they were had oh, the, the suction thing. <laughs> Shot glasses, cups, everything. I remember. Girls looked cuckoo. Crazy. Y'all look. Absolutely insane. Cuckoo. Not look back choice. at that and go, <laughs> make good choices, please. Make good choices. Don't do the Kylie lip challenge of 2015. Like Kylie looked adorable, but yeah. not everybody needs to put a plastic cup on their mouth and take the oxygen out of it and walk around. No. I really feel like we need to get some foundation we need over the cut up. Uh, so what I like to do is marry the two together in a very gentle way and let it work for you in a very glamorous kind of way. You see that? Oh, she's blended. She's blending out beautifully. Gorgeous. I think people try to make it really complicated to make their Instagrams interesting. With contouring? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like literally sitting back, you know, cause I got on Instagram sure. quite, right away. Mm -hmm. And I was more of a voyeur. I was just kind of watching it all. <laughs> I was like, what? Watching, watching the madness unfold. It was train wrecky. I was like, oh dear Lord. And then, you know, I had people that were in the industry that were pillars in the industry, in the makeup and hair industry right. going, what is happening? What's These people. On? And yeah. I was like, well, they're I having fun. And it was like, I liked it. I didn't have a problem with it. I think for me, I love seeing people's creativity soar on a platform like that where well, it's never because, been done before. Well, they were never allowed to. Correct. It was like, you know, there was only 10 people that were allowed to show their creative skills. And it was right. like, now all these people were like, oh, look, I can do this. And some people <laughs> rocked it and they some did. people did not. It's interesting. I feel like that's where you get the separation of like makeup artist versus beauty guru. Or Instagram. makeup enthusiast. Yeah, I like people Band? that are, well, I just like people that are enthusiastic about makeup. That's true. Listen, you could literally be interested in race car driving doesn't make you a good race car driver. That's true. I mean, you can like yeah. it, love it, and be like, I'm a NASCAR fan. But and, you're not dull and you can, <laughs> You know, some things you just gotta leave to the professionals, <laughs> and some things you can do it DIY, right? But always explore, always grow, and always and try. find new passions. Challenge yourself. Absolutely. There's no such thing as failure, especially no. with makeup, because no. it washes off. It's not permanent. You're not buying a house, you're not buying a car, and that's what I used to always say and it was so fun to see people That's doing so all true. this cool stuff. <laughs> it was really cool. And I was like, this is exciting. It's awesome. And a lot of people in my industry were veterans, were irritated by it. And I was like, don't be irritated. This is good, you know? Yeah. I always embraced it and loved it. I just did a photo shoot with Vanessa Williams' daughter, mm -hmm. who I've known since she was six, and Aww. she's known my son. And I put them together in the photo, and I just was so standing cute. there. And it's like, they're both 21, and I'm like, this is the future. Oh. And they're both really brilliant, and That's they have all these aspirations. And I'm powdering now, guys, and I'm setting this. Set it, but don't forget it. So we have a glow. Instead of the skin being super dewy, we were 
putting it in with highlighters. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all used a little too much. There's a word for that. Do you remember what it was? No, what was it? Strobing. Yeah, well, that's the powder. <laughs> that was the powder. It was, was like this... when people would go over top with serious highlighter. It was scary. And, and you then... could see it from space. What was the other stupid word? Fleek. Your eyebrows fleek. are on fleek. Oh my God. Yeah. Your fleekness is my weakness. Oh. I remember people I can't. used to say <laughs> crazy things. Oh my God, it wasn't even that long ago now. I, I can't. Oh my God, her eyebrows are on fleek. Your eyebrows are so on fleek. Where did you get that? Is that an IG tutorial? Doing it for the gram. There was a lot of that going on. There was a lot of good slang. Catfish. Have you ever been catfish? I have not been catfish, nor have I ever catfished anyone. I take you as a big <laughs> no, fisher. Yes. I am not a big fisher. You are such a catfisher. I am not a catfisher. Look at her. She's getting there. She's kind of cute. Yeah. She's glowy. She's hoey. No, I have not catfished anyone, nor have I been catfished. But what I was going to say was this was really the first time you heard this term come out and it really revolved around online dating right and dating through apps tinder grinder hinge bumble i had clients that used to have a really good time online dating no they were girls and they would go on grinder and pretend they were boys <laughs> so they were catfishing, so they were catfishing. Yeah. i'm gonna use some pave powder and this is platinum so we're gonna go for that like really gorgeous cheeky glow i feel platinum-y isn't that pretty it's beautiful i want to do the other cheek now so you're not one cheek <laughs> i didn't know if we were done with that side. I wasn't sure either. Yeah. Now I'm fully committed to doing the other side. Let's okay. get some blush going. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a new thing that's coming out soon. It's my gold bar of downright mm. dewy. Wait till you guys see this. It's so sick. Turn your cheek this way for me so everybody can see as that goes on. It's just delicious. Look at that. It looks wet. It's dewy. Huey, dewy. And Louie. And Louie. I'm gonna hit it too right in here. This was kind of like know. my little technique that I used to do. Just kind of wrap it around and it just opened up the whole face down the center. So where, glowy. Where are we so going? Glowing, Scott. Where are you going with that? Going to Instagram. We're going all the way to Instagram town. Okay, let's talk about some of the movies. There was some yes. crappy movies. There were some great movies. I feel like most of the movies were kind of like yeah. or the Black me. Swan. Love. I love. I think we can all agree. Great Natalie movie. Portman was genius in that. Amazing. Mila Kunis. Yes. Fabulous. I'm using Rose and Mango Fizz together for this look to complete this monstrosity that we're building. She's not a monster. She's not. She's beautiful and she's fun to be with if you really take the time if to know her. If you get to her. know her, she's not bitchy. She's actually like really nice. She can be fun if you ask the right person on the right on the day. Right day. <laughs> do you like Wes Anderson movies? Yeah. You do? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the Grand Budapest Hotel came out. That was good. Which was really cute. Yeah. Kind of looks like a dream. So while you're talking about this, I'm going to hit you with pave powder again, but in rose gold on your body. Love it. Throw yeah. your hair back. Throw your hair back, girl. Come on. Throw your hair back. Oh, yes. That's it. Oh, talking to me. I can't hear you. Despicable Me. Okay, I just watched Despicable Me. Did you really? Oh, yeah, Romeo was like, can we watch Aww. Despicable Me together That's so cute. on Sunday? Shout out, Romeo. Look at the glow. Ooh. I can't even with the hyper glow. She's so glowy. Project X. What was that? It was where these kids threw a party and it got out of control. I think it was based off an Australian kid by the name of Corey Worthington. Okay. Who threw like this massive party and then all these people showed up. Is all that the, the one that they got busted? Up. And yes. it was like they were on an island? I don't think they were. Yeah, what about that guy? Island. He like sold all these tickets and there was really oh, no event. Oh, you're thinking event. of Firefest. Yeah, oh my Fire God, Fest. that was the hot mess. That, that should have been Hot Mess Fest. Yes, yeah, Hot Mess Fest. And when they were advertising for that, I kept hearing about it and I was like, this doesn't sound fun. It was like Burning Man on an island on with an nowhere island. to go. Like nowhere you couldn't get off the island. Crazy Stupid Love. That was good. That was good. I like that one too. Yeah. Friends with Benefits, Hunger Games. I feel like we're living in them right now. Only the strong survive. And mm -hmm. may the odds be ever in your favor. People forever actually say that with what's happening today in the world, and that scares me. <laughs> Frightening. Oculus. It was weird. I was like, okay, then you're afraid of mirrors. I work with mirrors for a living. Yeah, I can't watch this. Mirrors. Um, no. Ah. The Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> yeah, that was great. That was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do a brow. Let's go into Frank, because brows were like a thing, the Instagram brow. I've always had pretty thick brows, so I kind of liked yeah, this that decade. moment. Me too. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm very browsy to begin with. And I feel like around like 2014, 2015, I just started growing out my brows and I've like never really stopped. That's why they look the way they do. Oh. Oops. Was right. that salty? It was a little salty. I think you need Anastasia in your life. Look at that brow. It feels a little dark, right? But I'm going to do a trick. I always like it to be pretty. Even if you're doing trends or whatever is happening at the time. Still maintain beauty. Yeah, you have to. You do. Otherwise, you just look like a walking trend report. There's a classic element and a classic thread that ties all those things together. That Correct. When you look back throughout time, because we looked at things from last week that were still 
beautiful. Right. And I think what we were really seeing was kind of this classic beauty yeah. that you encapsulate in all of your work. Thank you, sweetie. That's very of nice of you. Well, it's just because I love Cause women and I like to see them look beautiful. Beautiful. Right. Yeah. So that's a thing for me. I want to use some Senna brow gel with this just to like tame down the darkness because Frank highlighted me your hair. <laughs> so we're going to do a highlighted brow. Let's talk about Frank for two seconds. Yes. So Frank had the first beach spray mm -hmm. for hair that really kind of was like a texture spray. Mm -hmm. Look at that, that's pretty. Just golden Super and that it up. She's still strong, she's good, she's there. And he was really a master at doing this beach wave. Nobody did it better. And then that was another trend that just kept going and going and going. It was like, it became the Hollywood hair, mm -hmm. that beach wave. And I started calling it Tressy. Tressy here, and it was like this. It was like, hi, I'm Tressy. What's hi, going hi. on? Yeah, it was very all that. Drop back. Yes. It was pretty. But it was good. I think it's sexy and it's very feminine. It was somewhere between Beach and Victoria's Secret. Dickies. Yeah, yeah. Victoria's Secret for So sure. I think it had that thing. That shout out I to Frank. All right, what else we got? I think only edition was Hustlers. Which we all know that. I worked yes. on it. It was fun. <laughs> Ramona. We Ramona, love Ramona. We love Ramona. We love you, JLo. Inventions. Virtual reality headsets. That was fun. No comment. <laughs> I felt a little nauseous. I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for it. Self-driving cars. Tesla. Tesla, shout mm -hmm. out Tesla. Selfie sticks, did you have one? I, someone gave me one as a gift. <laughs> and I was always like. It's, it was such a thing. Do you remember the song, Let Me Take a Selfie? Let Me Take a Selfie. Wasn't that Chainsmokers? It was Chainsmokers, We yeah. love the Chainsmokers, but that, Let Me Take a Selfie. Yeah, that came out when I was in college and people would go out and literally have selfie sticks when they were out. Yeah, that's too much. It was way that too much. That was a commitment to the selfie. And I think for a self-absorbed generation, it was perfect. It was great. Drones. Drones were good. We Drones still like cool. them. We love them. Yeah, and the photography world is amazing. Fidget spinners. Oh yeah, Romeo had those. He had every gadget. Like yeah. there wasn't a gadget that we just did not have in our house. I did not realize this. The first iPad came out in 2010. Did it really? I thought it came out before. I feel like we've had them had forever. <laughs> the Friday song. Sing it for me. It's so bad, I kind of like blocked out that part of my brain. Fun facts, Snapchat filters. Everyone had them, everyone was we using them. We lived for them. We lived for them, puppies, cats. Yes. Deer. I still watch the puppies and the cats. Deer, oh, mm -hmm. those are cute, we love yeah. those. Yeah, I love a like YouTube channel, puppy <laughs> and cat thing. You're like, puppy, cat thing, Do you remember when Lady Gaga wore the iconic meat, meat dress? Yeah, of course. To the VMAs? Loved it. People used to plank. Romeo did it everywhere. I keep referring back to Romeo. He should actually be here during this whole. We need a. We need Romeo. We need, we need Romeo here, yeah. Gangnam style. That was like a song dance combo. Romeo did not like that. I didn't like it either. <laughs> Coach. Do you like when I? Yeah, he liked that. Did he? Yeah. Has he been to Coachella? Mm-hmm. 2015. Yeah. Same-sex marriage was made legal in the United States. Whoop, whoop. Okay. I'm going to use the palette, Snatural, number one. I'm going to use Brick House. I'm going to use Brick House underneath these eyes. I was really into Brick House. Oh, I love this color. That's why I put it in the palette. Like, everything I've made is stuff that I use. And this with the rose gold body bling is ridiculous. By the way, really messy. It's not supposed to be, like, perfect and good and all that. I do it like a little like haphazard, like a shadow, like sure. a shade, like you've been up all night. Lived in. What I was gonna say, I feel like you don't use as many traditional like blacks and darks. Most of them are really warm. Yeah. When you do, I mean contouring, but also just eyeshadows. Like when you do smoky eyes on me, they're usually a little more on the brown, sienna, right. red than they are just black and gray. But I feel like it deserves its whole own moment. Yeah. Like see how big all of a sudden that eye gets and it's gorgeous and it's easy. I'm taking Brick House again and I'm using my number 62 brush, which is the fluffer. And I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit. I like to lift it in the inner corner, especially when you got the curtains. Like you got yeah. curtains here, you need to see some eyes, it. right? Because it gets too like, heavy. and then the eye closes up. If everything's out here and then the hair hits it, Weird, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. things to think about. You gotta kinda check out the hairstyles that people wear when you're doing makeup or mm -hmm. when you're doing your own makeup. It's like, take into consideration that you need that sex appeal in the middle. Right. To the front. Right. When I say middle, to the front, you know, mm -hmm. or the eye. It just helps. It helps to broaden and open everything up and give and it depth. have balance. Yeah, have that depth of balance. Almost like a polarity. Yeah, exactly. I always kinda like find the middle of the pupil 
and lift up from there. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's really sexy. Okay, now I'm gonna go into my highlighter brush and that is with the travel kit. These are really great brushes. I'm gonna take the color Hollywood and Starlet. I'm gonna hit that and that. We're just gonna do a little color wash with it. And you're gonna see, it's gonna make magic happen. And that just wow. blends it out. This is really easy stuff, guys. What I'm showing you is like, you can do this and be stunning. You could be... On fleek. On fleek, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's start using the weird words again. You could be We're on fleek. We're resurrecting them. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking a little bit of Starlet and I'm hitting it right on the lid, just with my finger, because it's a shimmer and I want it to be a little impactful. And it's a little gold and it's a little rosy and it's a little fabulous. Super nice. Going back to Hollywood pretty. again. Super pretty. Can we talk about nails? Yes, let's, let's talk about nails. First of all, show everybody your nails because your nails are sickos. They're so pretty. Yoko gave us- Queen Yoko yes. added again this week. She did like two of the really big trends that were going mm -hmm. on in that time period, 2014, was chrome with glitter. Everything was about an embellished nail. It's the I'm hair like, is making you feel super sexy. Yeah, super sexy, super elevated. Super sassy. This feels good to me. Let's do a little bit of rose gold body play. Normally I have a bowl here, but I'm just gonna use it on my Scott Barnes glass dish. Here, I'll show you guys. This is such a great mixing medium. I can put it in the dishwasher. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's like one of those things oh. where it's like when the metal ones, and I feel yeah. like the metal ones with certain products, right. they seem to react a little bit. So well, that's why I came out with a glass palette. Yeah. Plus, I like to be able to see, see through it, yeah. see what it does. And you For can't sure. do that with the metal palettes, hence, the glass palettes. If you guys are They're somebody fabulous. that needs or uses a mixing palette, mine are the best. Scott Barnes. All right, gonna take the same foundation brush that I used on the face, because we're not gonna use it on the face anymore. And it's still got a little color in it. And we're gonna hit the top of the bones with a little bit of rose gold body bling. And this is just really pretty. It picked up on the brick wow. house. The skin just looks so healthy and so hydrated. Right, you don't look like a dry and dusty. I don't look dry, I don't look dusty. You gotta stay hydrated. Yeah. If anybody's read my books, book one, I talk about water water. Drinking water is the most important thing that you can do for your beauty regimen. Your body needs it. You're made up mostly of water. The more hydrated you are, the more beautiful your skin looks, the totally. cleaner it is, the better it is. Listen to Scott as he's drinking. Orange juice. Perfect. Pedialyte's great. You and that Pedialyte. I love Pedialyte. All right, I'm going to try the Max Out Mascara, which is my thickening it in dramaticals. Now, you're wearing an Hervé Leger original. I am. It is a gorgeous one. We hunted this puppy down for this time period. He's very this time. Oh right. my gosh, yeah. I don't think Rapid. any Anybody didn't wear, didn't wear it was it. like the red carpet staple. Just put her in an Hervé Leger dress and in like a little shoe booty, high heel, strappy situation and you were doing. You look fabulous. Red carpet <laughs> with some beach hair. That's exactly what it was. That looks pretty. Keep your chin down a little bit. I don't know why you're going so high up in the air I with think that it's chin. The hair. The hair plugging you? No, I think I'm just Should like... we fire the hairstylist? <laughs> yeah. Can't. What else? Uh, movies, we could do TV. Was there TV? Did anybody watch TV? I was I home. was busy. I was. I was oh, in now college. you know what was I happening was to me. I oh, she, she was like, "Oh, don't you know that Friends was on?" And I'm like, and you were like, and that "No, line, uh, actually, I was booked working. and busy. Yeah, was, <laughs> Can't relate. <laughs> didn't have time to sit at didn't home. Didn't know what you're talking about, Sally. <laughs> she looks kind of cute. She's cute. I want to do a little bit more rose gold on your face. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. I just feel like more is better in this situation. More is more. More. Look at. Let's see. <gasps> yes. Let's find a lip. I'm gonna use Commando for this. Oh. This is a liquid lip, which is a matte formulation. I'm gonna put a shine over top of it, but I'm gonna put a shine over top of it because I just can't help myself. Mm -hmm. But this whole period was about a gigantic overlined matte lip. It was just like, hi, it's up in my nose. It's good, what do you think? Obviously I love it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like saying nothing and just going. Just like flipping my hair. <laughs> Every 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know I'm having a good time. All girls do that. You start doing their makeup and they're like kind of miserable. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the towel keeps going down farther and farther and they start making faces at themselves and you're like, <laughs> Okay, she's feeling it. That's the mark that you're doing a great job. That's I know, you're how like, you know. That's, that's how, how you know. That's how you know women love it. When they go. Because when they lose their self and they're. <laughs> yeah, when, they get, when you hear this, I'm like, oh, they don't like this. All right, I'm gonna put swaggy on top of this. Okay. Because I feel like we're a little swaggy. We're swaggy. Remember that? That was such a, like, a word. Oh my God, she's got so much swag. Now this will cool this lip down. So this is a great combination. Sometimes when you do a cool and a cool, it just turns into mud. I'm doing a warm and a cool. So the warm underneath and then the cool on top. She's still strong, but it's a really great color combo because it doesn't get like gray. You know, sometimes when you yeah, do- Yeah, it gets a little like murky. Almost. Yeah, yeah. 
but you want yes. that's beautiful. Yeah, so this is like, it'll bring out like the rose gold and the highlights mm -hmm. in your hair and it just makes everything kind of like pop yeah. to the front. I'm gonna go back into this natural palette and I feel like let's hit some sin. And what I'm doing is like just creating a little tiny thin line with brush number 59, like that. See, it just gives it a little bit of strength. If you guys can see, I'm going in really gently, very tiny. I just want it to be really tiny, like a very, very, I'll show you how small. I'm gonna show you guys on my hand, just like that. With a brush like this, it's, it's, it's so razor sharp that you can get, you can either drag it like that, or you get a tight line. Just something to think about when you're investing in brushes, make sure that they're tight. I feel like it needs a little bit of darkness in the outer corner. I'm gonna go back in with Sin. One of my really, really old Scott Barnes brushes. How funny is that? This thing is old. Aww. I'm using just whatever's left on the brush of Sin. I'm just blending it out. Yeah, okay, yeah. Who's that? Who is she? I don't know, how did she get here? So, um, let's talk about fashion for two seconds okay. before we head on out of here. 2011, right? Prada did the bubble skirt. We had bandage skirts, bandage dresses, uh -huh, uh -huh. tribal prints, platform pumps, oversized uh, cocktail rings, tunic dresses. 2012, the model off-duty glitter pumps, leather pants, wedgie shoes, neon colors, neo-neon. Sure. Statement pants, peplum pieces, biker jackets. It was everywhere. 2013, streetwear. Givenchy did the Bambi sweatshirts. That's why I named my dog Bambi. Aww. Black and white was a big thing. Statement glasses, crop tops, oversized coats, heavy metal hardware. Bye. Bye. See ya. 2014. Every year we were Every like. Every year we were like doing something. We different. were doing <laughs> something different. Completely diverse. This is like, why I said in the beginning of the thing yeah. we were traveling at hyper speed. Yes. We were literally the yes. internet made everything like. I we were like going so All fast that we exploded in 2019. That's what happened. Well, 2020. Dressing for the camera, bold fashions, mixed prints, bomber jackets, denim overalls. Remember the denim overalls oh everybody was wearing? Yeah. One strap up, one strap down. Jumpsuits, collarless coats, wide leg trousers. Boom. Look at Palazzo pants to work. Nice Goodbye. catch. Thank you. The naked dress was 2015. Okay. Lace up front, white sneakers, off the shoulder tops, button front skirts, athleisure. I mean, athleisure. Wear. Athleisure, Athleisure wear. wear. 2016, millennial pink. What the hell does that mean? Lux streetwear. Chokers, hated them. Still don't like a choker. Gucci t-shirts, 2017. <laughs> monogram bags, logos. It that's was logo mine. mania. It Everything was, logo was like, mania. Gucci, yeah, that's my monogram. Gucci, Gucci, that's Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Bold earrings, white booties, statement sleeves, ruffles, sheer. This is stupid, I'm not even, who cares? <laughs> We're done with that. that. 2018, grown up tailoring and minimalist. Return to traditional, traditional denim. denim. Transcendental denim. <laughs> Transcendental denim. That's where you're in the denim, but you're really but not in the, the denim. denim and you wish you were someone else. And then you transcend the denim. Faux fur, tweed, modern workwear, leopard pants. Okay, 2019, we made it. Um, we made it. We're almost there. Biker shorts, blazers, bucket hats, bleh. You know why I say bleh to the bucket hat? It does not look good on me. It makes me look terrible. Like, do you want to wear one? I do. I put it on and I'm like, I have it on. And then I'm like, oh. You look awful. You look, Take that aww. off. Yeah. We'll find a bucket hat that can work. No, I mean, Rank looks good Frank in a bucket look hat. Bucket He's got Dolce yeah. Gabbana. He's got a, like a hundred of them. <laughs> Me, and I'll try it on You're and like, I'm I like, just want one. I feel like Gilligan. <laughs> the million that I put it on, I'm like. <laughs> That's really funny. Aww. You've got fabulous hair. You I wanna do. show your, yeah, you show your hair out. You don't wanna hide it under the bucket hat. I have, That's what I tell people when yeah. hats don't look good on them. Your hair is too pretty to hide under that hat. That's it. Yeah, we catfished people. We we tweeted. We, we did. Tweeted, we did. Baited, we we did bleak. selfies. We took our selfie sticks. But first, let us take a selfie. selfie. Do the dog filter with a big tongue. Who are we right now? We took a selfie. All right, we're gonna place this selfie into our video. I yeah. love you guys. Okay, guys, hope you guys love the 2014, 2012, something in there. And the, the teens. <laughs> I hope you guys, I hope this was informative. I hope you guys learned a lot. I wanted to teach you a little bit about contouring, color, makeup, the subtlety of it from my perspective, a little monochromatic palette. I hope this was useful in cheeks and shimmer and all of that fabulous stuff. I will see you guys at the photo shoot. Yes. I love you. God I bless you. you. Thank God you for being you. so amazing. And I'll see you guys later. Yeah, thank you Bye. guys. See you again. Oh.